Go, often referred to as Golang, is a programming language designed by Google engineers Robert Griezmer, Rob Pike, and Ken Thompson. Go is statically typed, compiled, and syntactically similar to C, with the added benefits of memory safety, garbage collection, structural typing, and CSP-style concurrency. The compiler, tools, and source code are all free and open source. History Go was conceived in 2007 to improve programming productivity at Google, in an era of multi-core processors, computer networks, and large codebases. The designers wanted to resolve common criticisms of other languages, while retaining many of their useful characteristics. Static typing and efficiency, like C++ or Java. Productivity and ease of use, like Python or JavaScript. High-performance networking and multiprocessing designers cited their shared dislike of C++ as a primary motivation for designing a new language. Go was publicly announced in November 2009, and version 1.0 was released in March 2012. Go is widely used in production at Google and in many other organizations and open-source projects. In April 2018, the original logo Go for Mascot was replaced with a stylized Go slanting right with trailing streamlines. However, the mascot remained the same. In August 2018, the Go principal contributors published two draft designs for new language features, generics and error handling, and asked Go users to submit feedback on them. Lack of support for generic programming and the verbosity of error handling in Go 1.x had drawn considerable criticism. <laughs> <laughs> Version history Go 1 guarantees compatibility for the language specification and major parts of the standard library. All versions up to the current Go 1.11 release have maintained this promise. Each major Go release is supported until there are two newer major releases. Topic: Implementations. Two major implementations exist. Google's Go toolchain, targeting multiple platforms including Linux, BSD, MacOS, Plan 9, Windows, WebAssembly, and since 2015, mobile devices. The primary Go compiler became self-hosting in version 1.5. A second compiler, GCCGO, is a GCC front-end. A third Go compiler, known as GoFidge, also exists. GoFidge compiles Go code into JavaScript code, and enables Go to be used for front-end development. <laughs> <laughs> Language design Go is recognizably in the tradition of C, but makes many changes to improve brevity, simplicity, and safety. The language consists of a syntax and environment adopting patterns more common in dynamic languages, optional concise variable declaration and initialization through type inference X. Topic. Zero not int X Zero, or var X equals zero winking face Fast compilation times Remote package management Go -get, and online package documentation. Distinctive approaches to particular problems. Built-in concurrency primitives, lightweight processors, goroutines, channels, and the select statement. An interface system in place of virtual inheritance, and type embedding instead of non-virtual inheritance. A tool chain that, by default, produces statically linked native binaries without external dependencies. A desire to keep the language specification simple enough to hold in a programmer's head, in part by omitting features which are common in similar languages. Topic. Syntax 
Go's syntax includes changes from C aimed at keeping code concise and readable. A combined declaration initialization operator was introduced that allows the programmer to write I equals 3 or S equals hello world without specifying the types of variables. This contrasts with C's int I equals 3 and const char asterisk S equals hello world. Semicolons still terminate statements, but are implicit when the end of a line occurs. Functions may return multiple values, and returning a result, a pair is the conventional way a function indicates an error to its caller in Go. Go adds literal syntaxes for initializing strut parameters by name, and for initializing maps and slices. As an alternative to C's three statement for loop, Go's range expressions allow concise iteration over arrays, slices, strings, maps, and channels. Equals. Topic types equals Go has a number of built-in types, including numeric ones, byte, int 64, float 32, etc., booleans, and character strings, string. Strings are immutable, built-in operators, and keywords rather than functions provide concatenation, comparison, and UTF-8 encoding, decoding. Record types can be defined with the struct keyword, for each type t and each non-negative integer constant n, there is an array type denoted n t, arrays of differing lengths are thus of different types. Dynamic arrays are available as slices, denoted t for some type t. These have a length and a capacity specifying when new memory needs to be allocated to expand the array. Several slices may share their underlying memory. Pointers are available for all types, and the pointer to t type is denoted asterisk t. Address taking and indirection use the and an asterisk operators as in C, or happen implicitly through the method call or attribute access syntax. There is no pointer arithmetic, except via the special unsafe, pointer type in the standard library. For a pair of types k, v, the type map k, v is the type of hash tables mapping type k keys to type 5 values. Hash tables are built into the language, with special syntax and built-in functions. Chan T is a channel that allows sending values of type T between concurrent Go processors. Aside from its support for interfaces, Go's type system is nominal. The type keyword can be used to define a new named type, which is distinct from other named types that have the same layout in the case of a struct, the same members in the same order. Some conversions between types e.g., between the various integer types are predefined and adding a new type may define additional conversions, but conversions between named types must always be invoked explicitly. For example, the type keyword can be used to define a type for IPv4 addresses, based on 32-bit unsigned integers. With this type definition, IPv4 address X interprets the UINT32 value X as an IP address. Simply assigning X to a variable of type IPv4 address is a type error. Constant expressions may be either typed or untyped. They are given a type when assigned to a typed variable if the value they represent passes a compile time check. Function types are indicated by the func keyword. They take zero or more parameters and return zero or more values, all of which are typed. The parameter and return values determine a function type, thus, func string, int 32 int error is the type of functions that take a string and a 32-bit signed integer, and return a signed integer of default width and a value of the built-in interface type error. Any named type has a method set associated with it. The IP address example above can be extended with a method for checking whether its value is a known standard. Due to nominal typing, this method definition adds a method to IPv4 address, but not on UINT32. While methods have special definition and call syntax, there is no distinct method type. Topic: <laughs> Interface system. Go provides two features that replace class inheritance, the first is embedding, which can be viewed as an automated form of composition or delegation, the second are its interfaces, which provides runtime polymorphism. Interfaces are a class of types and provide a limited form of structural typing in the otherwise nominal type system of Go. 
An object which is of an interface type is also of another type, much like C++ objects being simultaneously of a base and derived class. Go interfaces were designed after protocols from the Smalltalk programming language. Multiple sources use the term duck typing when describing Go interfaces. Although the term duck typing is not precisely defined and therefore not wrong, it usually implies that type conformance is not statically checked. Since conformance to a Go interface is checked statically by the Go compiler except when performing a type assertion, the Go authors prefer the term structural typing. The definition of an interface type lists required methods by name and type. Any object of type T for which functions exist matching all the required methods of interface type 1 is an object of type 1 as well. The definition of type T need not and cannot identify type 1 for example. If shape, square and circle are defined as both a square and a circle are implicitly a shape and can be assigned to a shape typed variable. In formal language, Go's interface system provides structural rather than nominal typing. Interfaces can embed other interfaces with the effect of creating a combined interface that is satisfied by exactly the types that implement the embedded interface and any methods that the newly defined interface adds. The Go standard library uses interfaces to provide genericity in several places, including the input output system that is based on the concepts of reader and writer. Besides calling methods via interfaces, Go allows converting interface values to other types with a runtime type check. The language constructs to do so are the type assertion, which checks against a single potential type, and the type switch, which checks against multiple types. The empty interface interface is an important base case because it can refer to an item of any concrete type. It is similar to the object class in Java or C Sharp and is satisfied by any type, including built in types like int. Code using the empty interface cannot simply call methods or built-in operators on the referred to object, but it can store the interface value, try to convert it to a more useful type via a type assertion or type switch, or inspect it with Go's reflect package. Because interface can refer to any value, it is a limited way to escape the restrictions of static typing, like void asterisk in C but with additional runtime type checks. Interface values are implemented using pointer to data and a second pointer to run time type information. Like some other types implemented using pointers in Go, interface values are nil if uninitialized. Topic. Package system In Go's package system, each package has a path e.g. compress, bzip2, or golang.org slash x slash net slash html, and a name e.g. bzip2 or html. References to other packages definitions must always be prefixed with the other packages name and only the capitalized names from other packages are accessible. IO reader is public but bzip2.reader is not. The go get command can retrieve packages stored in a remote repository and developers are encouraged to develop packages inside a base path corresponding to a source repository such as example.com slash user underscore name slash package underscore name closing parenthesis to reduce the likelihood of name collision with future additions to the standard library or other external libraries. Proposals exist to introduce a proper package management solution for Go similar to Rust's cargo system or Node's NPM system. Them. Topic concurrency, Go routines and channels The Go language has built-in facilities, as well as library support, for writing concurrent programs. Concurrency refers not only to CPU parallelism, but also to asynchrony, letting slow operations like a database or network read run while the program does other work, as is common in event-based servers. The primary concurrency construct is the Go routine, a type of lightweight process. A function call prefixed with the Go keyword starts a function in a new Go routine. 
The language specification does not specify how goroutines should be implemented, but current implementations multiplex a Go processes goroutines onto a smaller set of operating system threads, similar to the scheduling performed in Erlang, while a standard library package featuring most of the classical concurrency control structures mutex locks, etc., is available. Idiomatic concurrent programs instead prefer channels, which provide send messages between goroutines. Optional buffers store messages in FIFO order and allow sending goroutines to proceed before their messages are received. Channels are typed, so that a channel of type chan t can only be used to transfer messages of type t. Special syntax is used to operate on them, fan out parallel calls to a set of services, and others. Channels have also found uses further from the usual notion of interprocess communication, like serving as a concurrency safe list of recycled buffers, implementing coroutines, which helped inspire the name goroutine, and implementing iterators. Concurrency related structural conventions of Go channels and alternative channel inputs are derived from Tony Hawes' communicating sequential processes model. Unlike previous concurrent programming languages such as Occam or Limbo, a language on which Go co-designer Rob Pike worked, Go does not provide any built-in notion of safe or verifiable concurrency. While the communicating processes model is favored in Go, it is not the only one. All goroutines in a program share a single address space. This means that mutable objects and pointers can be shared between goroutines. See section lack of race condition safety below. Topic. Suitability for parallel programming Although Go's concurrency features are not aimed primarily at parallel processing, they can be used to program shared memory multiprocessor machines. Various studies have been done into the effectiveness of this approach. One of these studies compared the size in lines of code and speed of programs written by a seasoned programmer not familiar with the language and corrections to these programs by a Go expert from Google's development team, doing the same for Chapel, CILK and Intel TBB. The study found that the non-expert tended to write divide and conquer algorithms with one Go statement per recursion, while the expert wrote distribute work synchronize programs using one goroutine per processor. The experts' programs were usually faster, but also longer. Topic. Lack of race condition safety There are no restrictions on how goroutines access shared data, making race conditions possible. Specifically, unless a program explicitly synchronizes via channels or other means, writes from one goroutine might be partly, entirely, or not at all visible to another, often with no guarantees about ordering of writes. Furthermore, Go's internal data structures like interface values, slice headers, hash tables, and string headers are not immune to race conditions, so type and memory safety can be violated in multi-threaded programs that modify shared instances of those types without synchronization. Instead of language support, safe concurrent programming thus relies on conventions, for example, Chisnell recommends an idiom called aliases XOR mutable. Meaning that passing a mutable value or pointer over a channel signals a transfer of ownership over the value to its receiver. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Binaries. The linker in the GC toolchain creates statically linked binaries by default. Therefore, all Go binaries include the Go runtime. Topic. Emissions Go deliberately omits certain features common in other languages, including implementation inheritance, generic programming, assertions, pointer arithmetic, implicit type conversions, untagged unions, and tagged unions. The designers added only those facilities that all three agreed on. Of the omitted language features, the designers explicitly argue against assertions and pointer arithmetic, while defending the choice to omit type inheritance as giving a more useful language, encouraging instead the use of interfaces to achieve dynamic dispatch and composition to reuse code. 
Composition and delegation are in fact largely automated by struct embedding. According to researchers Schmager et al., this feature has many of the drawbacks of inheritance, it affects the public interface of objects, it is not fine-grained i.e., no method-level control over embedding, methods of embedded objects cannot be hidden, and it is static, making it not obvious whether programmers will overuse it to the extent that programmers in other languages are reputed to overuse inheritance, the designers express an openness to generic programming and note that built-in functions are in fact type generic, but these are treated as special cases. Pike calls this a weakness that may at some point be changed. The Google team built at least one compiler for an experimental Go dialect with generics, but did not release it. They are also open to standardizing ways to apply code generation, initially omitted, the exception like panic, recover mechanism was eventually added, which the Go authors advise using for unrecoverable errors such as those that should halt an entire program or server request, or as a shortcut to propagate errors up the stack within a package but not across package boundaries, their error returns are the standard API. Topic. Criticisms Go critics assert that The lack of parametric polymorphism for generic programming leads to code duplication or unsafe type conversions and flow disrupting verbosity. Go's nil combined with the lack of algebraic types leads to difficulty handling failures and base cases. Formatting constraints imposed by the language, such as disallowing an opening curly brace to appear alone on its own line, are unusual for a language of its class, and burdensome to some developers. Go lacks a number of modern language features, critics believe this leads to more verbose and error-prone code, these are features like Operator overloading Type inference Immutable data types Pattern matching data types. The designers argue these omissions were simplifications that contribute to Go's strength. See section omissions above. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Conventions and code style. The Go authors put substantial effort into molding the style and design of Go programs. Indentation, spacing, and other surface-level details of code are automatically standardized by the GOFMT tool. Galint does additional style checks automatically. Tools and libraries distributed with Go suggest standard approaches to things like API documentation, Godoc, testing, Go test, building, Go build, package management, Go get, and so on. Go enforces rules that are recommendations in other languages, for example banning cyclic dependencies, unused variables or imports, and implicit type conversions. The omission of certain features for example, functional programming shortcuts like map and Java style try, finally blocks tends to encourage a particular explicit, concrete, and imperative programming style. On day one the Go team published a collection of Go idioms, and later also collected code review comments, talks, and official blog posts to teach Go style and coding philosophy. <laughs> Topic. Tools Go includes the same sort of debugging, testing, and code vetting tools as many language distributions. The Go distribution includes, among other tools, Go Build, which builds Go binaries using only information in the source files themselves, no separate makefiles, Go Test, for unit testing and microbenchmarks, Go FMT, for formatting code, Go Get, for retrieving and installing remote packages, Go Vet, a static analyzer looking for potential errors in code. Go Run, a shortcut for building and executing code Godoc, for displaying documentation or serving it via HTTP GoreName, for renaming variables, functions, and so on in a type-safe way Go Generate, a standard way to invoke code generators It also includes profiling and debugging support, runtime instrumentation to, for example, track garbage collection pauses, and a race condition tester 
An ecosystem of third-party tools adds to the standard distribution, such as GoCode, which enables code auto-completion in many text editors, GoImports by a Go team member, which automatically adds, removes package imports as needed, and Urchek, which detects code that might unintentionally ignore errors. Plugins exist for adding language support to several text editors. Several IDEs are available. For instance, LightAD, which is branded as a simple, open source, cross platform Go IDE, and Goland, which claims to be capable and ergonomic. Examples <laughs> 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 Topic. Hello World Here is a Hello World program in Go. Topic. Concurrency example The following simple program demonstrates Go's concurrency features to implement an asynchronous program. It launches two Go routines. Lightweight threads, one waits for the user to type some text, while the other implements a timeout. The select statement waits for either of these go routines to send a message to the main routine, and acts on the first message to arrive example adapted from David Chisnell book. <laughs> Topic. Projects Some notable open source applications in Go include Caddy, an open source HTTP/2 web server with automatic HTTPS capability. CockroachDB, an open source, survivable, strongly consistent, scale-out SQL database. Decred, a cryptocurrency with on-chain governance integrated into its blockchain. Docker, a set of tools for deploying Linux containers. Ethereum, the Go Ethereum implementation of the Ethereum virtual machine blockchain for the Ether cryptocurrency. Hugo, a static site generator. InfluxDB, an open source database specifically to handle time series data with high availability and high performance requirements. Interplanetary file system, a content addressable, peer to peer hypermedia protocol. Juju, a service orchestration tool by Canonical, packages of Ubuntu Linux Kubernetes container management system Lightning Network, a Bitcoin network that allows for fast Bitcoin transactions and scalability. OpenShift, a cloud computing platform as a service by Red Hat Snappy, a package manager for Ubuntu Touch developed by Canonical. SyncThing, an open source file synchronization client, server application. Terraform, an open source, multiple cloud infrastructure provisioning tool from HashiCorp. Other notable companies and sites using Go, generally together with other languages, not exclusively, include Kaku, for their rendering of the user dashboard page and microservice using Go and gRPC. Chango, a programmatic advertising company uses Go in its real-time bidding systems. Cloud Foundry, a platform as a service. Cloudflare, for their Delta Coding Proxy Railgun, their distributed DNS service, as well as tools for cryptography, logging, stream processing, and accessing SPDY sites. Core OS, a Linux-based operating system that uses Docker containers and RKT containers. Couchbase, query and indexing services within the Couchbase server Dropbox, who migrated some of their critical components from Python to Go Google, for many projects, notably including download server dl.google.com Heroku, for Doza, a lock service Hyperledger Fabric, an open source, enterprise-focused distributed ledger project Mercadolibur, for several public APIs MongoDB, tools for administering MongoDB instances Netflix, for two portions of the server architecture Novartis, for an internal inventory system Nutanix, for a variety of microservices in its enterprise cloud OS
Plug.dj, an interactive online social music streaming website. Sendgrid, a Boulder, Colorado-based transactional email delivery and management service. SoundCloud, for dozens of systems. Splice, for the entire back-end API and parsers of their online music collaboration platform. ThoughtWorks, some tools and applications for continuous delivery and instant messages Twitch.tv, for their IRC-based chat system migrated from Python. Uber, for handling high volumes of geofence-based queries. Zeroda, for real-time peering and streaming of market data. Topic. Reception The interface system, and the deliberate omission of inheritance, were praised by Michel Simeonato, who likened these characteristics to those of standard ML, calling it, "...a shame that no popular language has followed this particular route." Dave Astles at Engine Yard wrote, Go is extremely easy to dive into. There are a minimal number of fundamental language concepts and the syntax is clean and designed to be clear and unambiguous. Go is still experimental and still a little rough around the edges. Go was named Programming Language of the Year by the TIOBE Programming Community Index in its first year, 2009, for having a larger 12-month increase in popularity in only two months, after its introduction in November than any other language that year, and reached 13th place by January 2010, surpassing established languages like Pascal. By June 2015, its ranking had dropped to below 50th in the index, placing it lower than COBOL and Fortran. But as of January 2017, its ranking had surged to 13th, indicating significant growth in popularity and adoption. Go was awarded TIOBE Programming Language of the Year 2016. Bruce Eckel has stated, the complexity of C++ even more complexity has been added in the new C++, and the resulting impact on productivity, is no longer justified. All the hoops that the C++ programmer had to jump through in order to use a C-compatible language make no sense anymore, they're just a waste of time and effort. Go makes much more sense for the class of problems that C++ was originally intended to solve. A 2011 evaluation of the language and its GC implementation in comparison to C++, GCC, Java and Scala by a Google engineer found Go offers interesting language features, which also allow for a concise and standardized notation. The compilers for this language are still immature, which reflects in both performance and binary sizes. The evaluation got a rebuttal from the Go development team. Ian Lance Taylor, who had improved the Go code for Hunt's paper, had not been aware of the intention to publish his code, and says that his version was never intended to be an example of idiomatic or efficient Go. Russ Cox then did optimize the Go code, as well as the C++ code, and got the Go code to run slightly faster than C++ and more than an order of magnitude faster than the code in the paper. Topic. Naming dispute On November 10, 2009, the day of the general release of the language, Francis McCabe, developer of the Go, programming language note the exclamation point, requested a name change of Google's language to prevent confusion with his language, which he had spent 10 years developing. McCabe raised concerns that the big guy will end up steam rollering over. Him, and this concern resonated with the more than 120 developers who commented on Google's official issues thread saying they should change the name, with some even saying the issue contradicts Google's motto of, don't be evil. On October 12, 2010, the issue was closed by Google developer Russ Cox at RSC with the custom status, unfortunate. Accompanied by the following comment, there are many computing products and services named Go. In the 11 months since our release, there has been minimal confusion of the two languages. See also 
Comparison of programming languages Dart, another programming language developed at Google UFCS, a way of having open methods in other languages equals equals notes